So now let's look at, okay, we've now sorted out, or begun to sort out, the ideas for the data we need to collect and analyze for our strategy, our direction, and then let's say, okay, day to day, what do we need to do? That's operations. How do we measure it? The financials, revenue. Most companies chase revenue. However, that actually turns out to be the wrong thing. What you need to chase is cash flow. No company has ever gone bust, gone into liquidation, gone bankrupt if it has continuous positive cash flow. And if you think about many companies who provide nice big fat discounts, those are initially recorded as sales at full price and then the discount is applied as a charge against income. And that leads you into negative cash flow remarkably fast. So, yeah, revenue's there because companies keep chasing revenue. But actually, as any uh, management accountant will tell you, and most financial accountants will tell you, that's irrelevant. It's the cash flow that you're generating that's important. Other numbers here are relatively easy to capture. And then, what you, we're needing to do is how do we identify this thing called innovation? What does it mean? What do we mean by innovation? Why is it important? What data might tell us that it's an innovative organisation? Mind you, why would you want to be the most innovative? Answer on the back of a fact packet, folks. Hands up. What do we mean by the most innovative player in the market? Sorry? New strategy. New ideas, new strategy, new products, rapid turnover of ideas and products. The biggest market share. It might lead to a good market share, but it might not. <coughs> I'll leave you to think about those um, because that will also give you new insights into analytics and business intelligence and data analytics. Often, we're thinking about <coughs> new processes, new products, different ways that our staff think. So, we want some ideas. And I'll set up a little sort of logging area that you guys can feed into um, from tomorrow or the day after. Because we're going to get you to maintain contributions into this area, um, discussion area, um, from now onwards. And that will be part, contribute to that 10% of your grade for contribution. So here are three full reference, four full references um, that will lead you to some of the source material about the thinking by Mintzberg and Porter that are to do with strategy and a little bit about operations. And that will help you think about what sort of analytics or business intelligence mechanisms are going to be necessary for those companies that you're going to go and work for next year or in the longer term. Because they will all need to do something like this. One of the interesting things is what do companies mean by strategy? And if you look at big organisations, it's easy. What's more interesting will be those, the small and medium-sized companies, particularly small organisations of 10, 5, 10, 15 people that you might end up working in. Because they may not recognise that they even have a strategy. They may have... I know I'm good because this is why I set up my company because I really love this or I love that or I'm good at that. And then it just kind of rolls along. And they don't think of that long-term direction explicitly. So, again, a lot of the textbooks talk in terms of the big organisations, thousand plus employees. But 
even your small, if any of you are entrepreneurs and set up your own business, one or two people employed by you, or maybe just you doing the job, you actually do need to think a bit about that long term. And some of these questions may help you actually develop a much more effective way of becoming successful and growing your organisation, if you want to grow it. And you might be able to do, uh, you can do the sort of analytics that we're talking about here by hand if you want to, if you're small enough. You can do it with spreadsheets. You can do it with real heavy duty systems like SAS or Cognos and, um, and so on. All sorts of different tools at different levels. But you still have to find that data first. Okay? So, we'll finish there.